All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and it's finally time to take the full review look at the Phoebus Vortex, another really original new offering from Phoebus Watches. So um, let's talk size of the watch, get that out of the way first. It's a 43 millimeter case from side to side, top to bottom, all the way around, because this watch is perfectly round, as you guys can see here. So 43 millimeters on the case, uh, thickness of the watch from the bottom of the case back to the top of the flat sapphire crystal is 13 millimeters you have 22 millimeter lug openings on the watch. The watch did come with two straps. This is a waterproof leather strap. And I wanted to note to you guys here how this is curved here at the end. Uh, the watch does come with curved spring bars also on there because it's a very tight uh, fit in there. So, but very nice looking watch overall. Again, like I said, a very original piece from Phoebus. Um, this and their recent Apollo series, I think they've got two or three out in the Apollo series. Just so original, and I, I love the fact that Phoebus is really making watches uh, like no one else out there. Now, this is the Vortex, and I'll just tell you right now, the whole idea behind this is like the Vortex of like a tornado or a whirlwind, however you want to put it. But as you guys can see, you've got this kind of swirling effect cut into the side of the case there. It's cut deeply into the case, really gives it a lot of definition there. And then it kind of carries over onto the, the dial, which is a stepped dial. You've got um, your internal bezel, which I think kind of adds to that whole effect because if you think of the bezel internally spinning around, it's kind of that vortex thing. Then you've got this raised blue part here that has the radial marks in it. Then you have that sandblasted gray center, which would kind of be that eye of the storm, that eye of the vortex where everything around you would be kind of crazy and, and going on where in the, in the center of it, it's gonna be very calm. So uh, cool looking dial. I love the way they've done this. And then the crowns on the watch are obviously uh, very unique. I've never seen crowns like this in a watch, and the idea was uh, the church spires in Santorini on the Aegean Sea, the island uh, of, of Santorini. I thought that was very interesting, um, but really also adds to the unique look of the watch. And the bezel on the outside, this is a non-turning bezel, even though you do see like these grippy looking pieces here, those are just to add some visual effect to the watch. So, but nice piece. Uh, inside this watch, you've got the Salita SW200-1, and per their website, that is regulated. I find the watch to be running within about 10 seconds per day, so nothing, you know, it's not cost standard, but it definitely is running very well. Both of the crowns on the watch are screwed down with nice sealed gaskets, giving you 200 meters of water resistance on the watch. The crystal, like I said, on the watch is a flat sapphire. It does have six layers of AR coating cutting down on the glare there, so... Go ahead and show you the crown operation for the bezel. Very nice, very smooth. There's no wobble or anything like that in the crown. It's very nice and solid. So you would just turn this to the point where you want to get it set there. Go ahead and push this in. And you want to make sure you push it in as you, oh, there you go. Push it in as you turn it, get it locked in there. So it doesn't move on you. I might've had it move there just a little bit, but easy setting there. And once you screw that down, of course, you're totally waterproof with that. So. Go ahead and get that back in the top there for all of us with a little OCD and concern of that not being straight. I think I got that pretty straight, a little off there. And then the other screw down crown. Now, even though this doesn't have any knurling on it, which might bother some people, the size of the crown makes it actually fairly easy to work. And you pull it out. Of course, with the Sleeta SW200, you get hacking hand winding uh, capabilities. But you can see that second hand there stop, push it in, turn it down for the crown. So this is a 25, I think 25, 26 joule movement in this. Date functionality beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour. So it is truly a Swiss high beat movement. So that's really excellent to have. Now, one of the really cool features of this watch, and I should have probably mentioned this first, is that it is anti-magnetic capabilities. So it is anti-magnetic up to 20,000 AM, which equates to about 250 gauss. So not as, you know, anti-magnetic as like a Rolex mil gauss or anything like that, but definitely well above, I think, the 4800, which is the minimum rating uh, for a watch to be called anti-magnetic. So, and I, I, you know, that may be beneficial to you in the work you do. I'm not quite sure, but definitely something to consider. The rubber strap, very nicely done. I wanted to show you the case back here. Now, under this case back, most likely what's going on here with this anti-magnetic is a soft iron cover, uh, most likely protecting the movement. Now, generally, you would have one protecting there and also underneath the dial of the watch. I'm not sure if there's one under the dial of the watch also, but check out the rub rubber strap here with the Phoebus on there. Nice clasp assembly. Really cool looking watch, and, and it's j definitely fun to wear. It's 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 a looker. It's fun to check the time on, everything like that. Like I said, keeping good time. The hands on the watch are very unique, cut out all the way to the end. And when I first got the watch, I couldn't remember what they reminded me of. 
And all of a sudden I was like, it's a, it's an Omega Seamaster. That's what it totally reminds me of with this broad arrow, the cutouts, a much exaggerated form uh, for these hands, but that definitely is what it reminds me of. And then super unique with that little stubby second hand there spinning around. Now, if you guys notice, there are hash marks here on this inner rotate, uh, inner dial, I should say. And so that's how you can count your seconds, your minutes on the watch. But definitely something I know for me when I'm setting it, I set it at the five minute mark. I wait for the watch to get to the five minute mark and that's how I set it. So that it's always dead on for me. So go ahead and throw this one on my seven inch wrist and stick around for the loom shot because this watch has really impressive loom. All right, so here it is on my seven inch wrist. At 43 millimeters, it's a big watch, but because it's round, it, it sits right on the center of your wrist. Now I did, I, when I was traveling recently, I did some mountain bike riding and I wore this watch on a mountain bike ride and I kind of forgot I had it on. I was like, oh man, I hope this thing doesn't beat up my wrist. And it didn't. I actually had my Captain Willard with, with me also. And for some reason, the case design on that really beat the heck out of my wrist. This one didn't bother me, even with the case cut the way it is and these big crowns. It was no issue whatsoever. So a uh, pretty big wash, but definitely has some killer looks. I think there's three or four colorways over at the Phoebus website right now. And if you guys pick these up before December 31st and use the code Vortex, you get $149 off of the retail price, which is $599. So that's basically a $150 discount, nothing to scoff at. And that's through December 31st. Now, if you guys don't get that discount, you're watching this video later on, you can use the code OFD, that's OFD, at checkout, and you'll get a 10% discount. And that's available for any watch over there at the website. So let's go ahead and dim the lights and look at what the loom looks like on this watch. All right, so let's check out the loom. I know it's not totally dark in here. Somebody always comments on it, but that's for my camera. It works better this way. And you'll definitely get an idea of how bright the loom is on this watch now. All right, guys, forgive me. It sounds like one of my neighbors fired up their blower. Of course, I'm making a video. So really cool, you know, different loom here. You've got a green out at the five minute marks on the indices there. You've got the lumination on this 20 minute section of the bezel. And then the rest of the internal bezel is loomed also, but definitely some good looks, definitely super bright. Wore this uh, to bed last week in my camper and it glowed all night long. So very cool watch, guys. I'll leave links down below in the description so you can check them out. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFG channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.